The story starts with me and my company. I'm a 30-year-old businesswoman who works in IT services in the banking space. I am the girl for everything, basically, but I'm a specialist in first-level support, administration, and backup. Sometimes, sometimes even networking. Even though I'm not the head of the IT department, I've basically had all of that responsibility. But unfortunately, not the pay grade. My pay grade does not reflect that at all. So I think of the boss of the IT department as kind of lazy and if not incompetent. He even brags about how much he's getting paid for basically doing nothing. I have a 40 hour work week, but since the whole IT department is my responsibility, I need to keep track of the servers and any problems that occur 24 seven. This is mostly done by emails. When the server status gives out a warning or a failure, I'll get notified and then, yeah, I'm fixing the problem over remote desktop or going to the company myself sometimes, even in my free time. Now, I wouldn't mind this, but I'm not getting paid for it. On the other hand, I am getting punished when something is wrong. Now, my boss's boss wasn't that much better. Since it was a fancy bank, everyone should be in a suit the whole time to let you know, make sure it keeps looking professional. Best be in with a skirt and high heels. Only problem is, when you work first level support, you need to do a lot of behind the scenes work, like slipping under desks to do cable management or make repairs or slide into gaps and get on your hands and knees and get down into stuff when you're working on server racks and doing lots of other activities that makes you dirty and isn't particularly practical in a skirt and high heels. You can imagine that this wore out my business clothes really, really fast. And not only that, they were so impractical. It really made my work harder. So I changed my clothes to a comfy hoodie and work pants to fit the work that I'm doing better. You know, appropriate attire for the things I'm doing. Now, when my boss saw me, he was furious. He was mad. He demanded, oh, I can't be looking like a poor hobo inside his bank. I told him that I demand work clothes for both occasions because they're expensive and get worn out very quickly. He refused and I wasn't really happy about this. So, so much for the introduction. Someday, my boss's boss, head of the whole company, called me. He had a plan. He wanted to create quiet hours, which means he didn't want his employees working on weekends to let them rest properly. Now, at first glance, you could say, hey, that's a nice idea. Yeah. No, he just didn't want to pay them for overwork because he got in some legal trouble with overwork paying in general. Not only that, some employees have strict deadlines and need the extra time to get work done. To actively ensure nobody can't work over the weekend, he wanted the following. Please make sure no one can access their emails and remote desktop over the weekend. No exceptions. None. Since we had a ticket system with the ability to attach emails to tickets, I asked him to write official work task. This has two reasons. First, I like everything documented. And second, I have something to protect and secure myself if the task I was giving is incorrect. And it's exactly this that saved me. So I was in my office again at my desk and I was thinking about how to get this task done and the implications that it will have. And then it was clear to me what it meant. <laughs> The email came from my boss with the task, and indeed he wrote, for everyone, no exceptions. So of course I'm thinking to myself, should I write to them and explain the implications that this would have? After thinking, I thought of how I'm treated as a worker and I decided against it. I was working immediately at this task and made an automated process to block every access to emails after Friday 6pm to Monday 6am. Weekend came, 
and it was Saturday and I was calm and relaxed because if you have not noticed by now, by cutting down everyone's emails, it means, of course, that I don't receive any updates on the servers. I can't possibly work on it because my remote access is also cut. Of course, if you think you could forward your work email address to your private email address, no, 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 you can't because we have a very, very strict data protection process. Nothing is allowed to go out. So I'm happy. It's still Saturday, middle of the day. I'm cooking myself and my husband a nice meal and my telephone rings. Surprise, surprise, it's my boss's boss. He talks with a very stressed voice and he told me that he can't access his emails. I needed a second to process this, but I responded, oh yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all since you know you ordered me to cut everyone's email access without exception. He was angry, very, very angry, and told me that this obviously doesn't count for him. I told him that he specifically told me there are no exceptions, and he stated everyone. He then argued that this wasn't how he phrased it, so I reread him his own email. After that, he was silent for a moment. He noticed the flaw in his logic. I broke the silence and asked him, Sir, if you want access to your emails on the weekend, it's no problem. Just send me a request per email and I'll get to work on it first thing on Monday. A bit angry again, he replied that he wants to have it done immediately. And I very calmly explained to him, I can't do that since my remote access is also blocked, just like he ordered. <laughs> he hung up. Ten minutes later, he calls me again. He asked me very calmly if I can fix the problem right now if he pays me for the overtime. He also wants me to be available at any time, meaning I should receive my emails and be able to remote work, and that this will raise my pay grade. By a lot. I thought that this was the perfect opportunity. I agreed with the conditions and the pay rise, but only when my co-workers and I finally get work clothes. He agreed. And since then, my work situation has drastically improved, and mostly only because I maliciously complied, well aware of the consequences of the given task.